Hello guys, welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to display list of items using a recycler view. So first we need to add the dependency for using recycler view. Open Gradle scripts file. Now sync project. So here in this Android Studio project, I am using Android EX dependencies. So I have to change the recycler view dependencies into Android EX. For that, go to build, sorry, select refactor and select the option migrate to Android EX. If you need a backup, make it, click migrate and click do refactor. So here a new version is available change into the test version and click sync so here the processing finished successfully now we need a list of items so this is a string array that contains some fruit names now open resource folder open values folder open strings.xml and place this string array here. <coughs> so here we have a string array with the name fruits that contain some fruit names. Now come back to the main activity layout file. Change this one into blueprint. Uh, this text view is no longer needed. Delete that one. Now drag a recycler view to this layout. So here all the constraints are created now. Now change the width into match constraints, height also match constraint. Now select the recycler view and change the ID into fruit recycler. Okay, now select the design. Now we can check the XML file. So here is the ID of the item is fruit recycler. Now come back to main activity. Now we can create the variables for recycler view. recycler now we need to specify a layout manager for recycler view so in this video we are going to use a linear layout manager so the linear layout manager align items in vertical patterns so recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager and this need one parameter that is the context for improving performance you have to do one more step how to call this method set has pixel size into true okay for display a list of items on the recycler view you need an adapter also you need some view holder the view holder is responsible for display each items on the recycler view and the layout manager will call appropriate methods on the adapter to populate the list of items so now we need to create a separate layout for each item on the list so open layout file, create a new layout resource file, I name it as fruit item, uh, fruit list item. So for display the fruit, fruit name, we need a text view. So we need a simple text view. So now here the layout is created. So here the width is much parent, height is also much parent. I change that, that one into a wrap content. Now for testing purpose, put some text on it. 
change the text size into 20 SP. Now align the text at the center. So use the attribute gravity into center. Now change the text style. Text style into bold. Okay. Now specify some padding into 10 TP. Now specify some margin layout margin into 5 dp also we can specify some background color html color codes go to names So let's select this color and draw it background and paste the color. So this text view uh, display each item on the recycler view. So this is no longer needed. Okay. So now we can create adapter for the recycler view. So right click the package and create a new Java class. I name the class as fruit adapter and this class extends adapter recycler view adapter click ok so here you need to implement some methods you need to implement these two three methods on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count so these are the methods within the adapter so for create each views on the list, the layout manager call the on create view holder and for assign values to the view item, the layout manager call the on bind view holder. So first we have to create the view holder class. I name the class as fruit view holder and this class extends view holder. So here we need a constructor with super keyword. Now specify the generic type for the class. So here it is fruit view holder. So for this method, the return type of this method our custom view holder class fruit view holder and for the on bind view holder method the first parameter is the object of our custom view holder class fruit view holder so now I am going to create some string array a list that contains some string values fruits list Now create a constructor, create a constructor with one parameter and initialize the list from the constructor. Now from the get item count method, we can return the size of the list size. Okay. So now within the view holder class, we have to create some variables for the text view. fruit name so here the <coughs> I change the type of the parameter into text view and initialize the text view from the constructor item view now from the on create view holder method we need to return an object of our view holder class. So the constructor of the view holder class need one parameter that is an object of text view. So here create some variables for text view. 
layout inflator from parent dot get context and call the inflate method on it inflate r dot layout our layout name is fruit list item now the second parameter is the view group that is parent and the last parameter is attached to root that is a boolean value we can pass false for it so this is a text view so we need to cast it into text view now from this method we need to return an object of our custom view holder class fruit view holder and the constructor of that class need one parameter that is an object of text view so now from the on point view holder method we can assign data to the view components so here there is only view one view component that is a text view so first thing uh, we can get the fruit name fruit name fruit list and here we have one parameter that is called the position so by using that parameter we can get the appropriate item from the list now we can assign this value the fruit name to the text view so for that we can use this parameter holder and here is the text view and call the set text method on it now pass the fruit name now the adapter is ready now come back to main activity create variables for the adapter our adapter name is yeah first we have to create a list that contains string value fruits list array dot as list get resources get string array or dot array our array name is fruits now we can create variables for the adapter fruit adapter new fruit adapter and this need one parameter that is the list fruits list now we can set the adapter to the recycler view so recycler view dot set adapter and pass the adapter now the project is ready now we can test it so i'm going to start some virtual device so here the virtual device is ready now we can run the project i run the project and here is the output so here we have a list of item using a recycler view so in this project we using linear layout i hope you understand the concept for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now